Hey everybody, we're back for Verb Tense Part 8 and possibly your shortest Verb Tense video that you're going to be watching today. So, like we've been saying in all the other videos, we know the past, the present, and the future tense. We knew that coming into sixth grade. But now what we're going to be doing is focusing on the simple, continuous, and perfect. And we've been noticing some trends as we go through these. Um, so, the simple would just be um, the pronoun or the noun and the verb. I walked, I walk, I will walk. So those are just um, the verb, the action word itself. When we get to the continuous, so we have the past continuous, the present continuous, and the future continuous, we're seeing either was or um, were um, for the past. We're seeing am, is, and are being used for the present. And what we will be seeing um, in this video today, will be for the future tense. Um, and then you always have the ing at the end of that action word. So I was walking, um, he was walking, they were walking, or I am walking, he is walking, or they are walking, and I will be walking, he will be walking, or they will be walking. And I'll point out future um, is probably the easiest one of the continuous tense because it's always going to be will be. Um, so they will be walking, he will be walking, you will be walking, we will be walking. It doesn't matter the pronoun or the noun that you're using. Will be is always going to be in front of that ing word. So that's what we're focusing on today, the future continuous. Now, there's two rules with future continuous. It's pretty um, short and quick to explain. But we use the future continuous to talk about an action in the future that overlaps another shorter action or a time. So the action in the future continuous usually starts before and might continue after the second action or time. And let's take a look at an example here. We'll break it down. I will be flying my kite when you arrive at the park. Now, before we break it down, I want you to tell me, based off of the rules and the patterns we just talked about, where is the future continuous verb tense being used here? Will be flying. All right, and now let's break it down. So we said it's happening um, in the future and it's continuous and it'll happen um, beyond a shorter time. So you arriving at the park is just a short matter of time. Um, obviously you arrive and then you're there. So you, you aren't arriving for seven hours. You, you arrive for a minute or two. And then after you arrive, we talk about the past you have arrived. The flying of the kite isn't gonna stop the second you arrive. So it's gonna be happening before you arrive and it's gonna be most likely happening after you arrive. And we're talking about it in the future tense. So I will be flying my kite when you arrive. So before you arrive, the kite's gonna be flying. Once you arrive, the kite's gonna be flying. And after you arrive, that kite will be flying. So will be flying is the future continuous verb tense there. When his dad comes to pick him up for his doctor's appointment, he will be experimenting in science class. Where is the future continuous verb being used here? Will be experiencing, uh, experimenting is the verb tense being used here. And remember we said the shorter action, his dad coming to pick him up for his doctor's appointment. Um, that's just gonna be his dad showing up to school. And then before that happens, he'll be in science class. As that happens, he'll be in science class. And after that happens, He'll be in science class until obviously he is called down to the office or wherever he is to get picked up. All right, rule number two with the future continuous. We can use the future continuous to talk about something that will happen if everything happens as we expect. This is sometimes future as a matter of course. It's usually possible to choose the future simple as well, but we often choose the future continuous because then it's clear that we are not making a request or offer. So we're talking, we're almost like predicting something and it absolutely is gonna happen as long as things don't get screwed up. So let's take a look here. The governor will be holding a COVID-19 press conference at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Where is the future continuous verb tense phrase being used here? Will be holding. Now, this is something that's gonna happen in the future that we can absolutely count on as long as the governor doesn't get sick with COVID or the governor doesn't have something more important that pops up that he has to um, respond to 
instead of this press conference. So as long as his schedule goes as planned, we know at 2 p.m. tomorrow, he will be holding a COVID-19 press conference. When will you be leaving for your cruise? Where is the future continuous phrase here? Will you be leaving? And because this is a, a question, um, that pronoun you is getting tossed into this phrase, but we know that you're leaving. Um, it's a set schedule. We're just asking when is that happening? Um, it's set, you know when it is because you're gonna answer that question. And um, unless the cruise is the ship's running late, it's not going to change. Um, if you show up late, you'll find out that the cruise will not change its schedule for somebody who's late. So we know, as a matter of fact, that as long as the course of the schedule goes perfectly, this cruise is leaving at this time, unless, of course, there's some sort of um, holdup at the port. So that's it for verb tense part eight. And I told you it was going to be fast. So I hope you have a great day and take it easy. I'll see you for our last verb tense video next time.